Today, I'm just gonna make $300 off just cardboard. First, I need to cut some cardboard, but my roommate thought I was crazy. <laughs> There's no way that's fucking working, dude. I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> now do me a favor and hold this while I take. <laughs> After spending five hours of cutting and taping cardboard, now I need to paint it. At first, I used cheap spray paint, but the cardboard ended up soaking all of my paint, so I had to go back to Home Depot and buy Rust-Oleum Clear Coat Primer. Here's the finished canvas after $20 of tape. Now I'm planning the sketch in Photoshop. Just gotta add a little bit of final touches and now I'm ready to take it to the projector. Now I'm just blocking out all the big shapes with a white paint pen. There's the sketch. I'm ready to paint, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a spray paint, I'm gonna do a nice little yellow halo around the octopus, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of red and paint in a little bit of shadow. Since it's such a big canvas, I can get a little sloppy with my spray paint. After that, I took a nice big brush and I used like an aqua teal and I kind of just blocked in the light areas. I'm going to use teal for the lights and a little bit of purple for the shadows. And then I'm going to go in with the green and just kind of use that as like an alternate light source and rinse, wash, repeat. I'm just going to keep on rendering out, do a little bee boops and deep dupes and eventually it'll start to look a little bit more rendered. Now I'm just taking a flat brush and I'm just going to make nice sharp squares on everything. First I start with the teal and then I'm going to go and use little pinks and then I'm just going to do little dotted outlines and that's just going to give the painting a nice, a nice texture to it. I wasn't really tripping on making the rendering super realistic because the outlines is what's going to make the painting pop. My camera kind of ran out of batteries when I did all the black details, so I'm just going to do some zoom ups and, and here's me putting on the liquid varnish. This is really going to make the painting pop. It's going to make everything look super shiny. It's going to protect your painting. Just make sure you know you have a great hand position when you're squirting the lake tips on it. You really need to make sure your foot position is steady. Alright folks, here's the finished painting and check this out. I'm going to add a little bit of black light and bam. Look how it glows. But anyways, that's the end of the video. This is the finished product. I ended up selling this to a homie for about $300 and that's how I made $300 from cardboard. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and be free to check out my other videos.